Okay, hey, um, so as we're getting into the course, there are a few things that we need to go over and set up so that you guys are ready to go. So um, I wanted to go ahead and go through those things with you. Um, if you are in English 10 or 12, we will be going over this the second week of school, which would be the first time we have live lessons. But if you're in English 11, then you need to make sure that you get this stuff done this first week of school. So let's look at what we're going to do to get set up. Um, we're going to look uh, quickly at Conexus for those of you who might be new, and we're going to look at how to um, get your feedback in my comments on your assignments. We're going to look at how lesson mods work. Um, we're going to talk about um, our class Google site and discussion board posting. We're going to set up uh, uh, contacts and then look at tutorial signups in our YouTube playlist. So that's kind of our, our checklist. I'll try to make this quick, um, but if you guys have questions, please feel free to contact me. Um, like I said in the little welcome video, I'm out this week, um, so don't stress on anything. If anything goes wrong, you can't figure it out, don't worry. Everything's fixable, and we can get it all, um, all worked out when I get back the next week, okay? All right, so first let's look at understanding Conexus. Um, you guys did an IPOP course, so uh, or a Repop uh, course kind of taking you through all of that so this is um, an English 10 example I'm not going to um, walk you through every single little bit but you've got your lessons over here in the left okay for English just to kind of give you an idea of what English uh, looks like in Conexus um, your first page always has your objectives then you're going to have a couple of pages of instruction. These oftentimes have links, all right? Those links are usually important. A lot of times they end up on tests, so you want to make sure that you're looking at those. Um, and then this screen, which has reading, writing, and grammar, this is usually the meat of your lesson. So this is the story that you're reading or, you know, something like that. Um, so you really want to make sure that you're looking at that. Anything in the purple box, that's extension. You can do it, but it's not graded. It's just if you want to extend on your own, if you need a little bit more. Um, the review pane, that goes back over everything um, that was taught in that lesson. And then you have some kind of assessment at the end, usually, almost always. Um, so that's kind of the basic um, overview. We'll come back to this when we're looking at lesson modifications, okay? But that's just, that's what the course looks like in Conexus. Whoops. Um, okay, so the other thing that we need to look at is your gradebook. So to get to your gradebook, you're going to go to the little A plus icon in Conexus. That's going to bring up your courses, so you'd pick this course. Um, the main thing that I'm concerned with is, is you being able to understand what you see in relation to your grade. So you're going to get a list of assignments that looks like this. Um, the number, um, the first number is going to tell you the unit. So this first assignment is from unit one. The next one is also from unit one, but this one is from unit two. The next number tells you the lesson. So this is unit one, lesson seven. Unit 1, Lesson 9, and Unit 2, Lesson 10. By the way, these are linked, so if you clicked on them, then that, that lesson would actually pop up. Okay, so if you wanted to go back and review something. This box tells you the name of the lesson. This tells you the type of assignment. So this first one is a quiz, this one is a test, and this one is a quick check. Okay. Um, now, this box, this or column, is your actual grade. Okay, you'll notice that these are links also. So you click on it and you get your answers, what was right and what was wrong. Okay, um, so there are a couple of really important things to note here. Number one, note that this one has a zero with an asterisk beside it. That means one of two things. Either um, it hasn't been graded or it hasn't been submitted. So for example, if you got behind and I went in and put a temporary zero, that's what this looks like. Okay, or if you submitted something that already had a temporary zero in it and I haven't graded it, that's what it would look like. So if you see a zero with an asterisk, that means it's not in, it hasn't been graded. Okay, um, so that's that zero. However, if you see a zero that's just a plain old zero that does not have an asterisk, that means that's the actual score. So in this third lesson here, Unit 2, Lesson 10, this student got 0 out of 5. Okay, that's the actual score. Now on a quick check, that's not so important. But if that is your score on a portfolio assignment, something went wrong. And that means you need to find out what. 
Okay, so the way to get feedback is to actually click on these. Um, and I'll tell you this before I show you what that pop-up box looks like. When you click, uh, whenever you turn something in that has anything that's written, I always give you feedback every single time. A portfolio assignment, a essay on a test, a short answer on a test, um, you will have feedback. Um, if it's a multiple choice only quick check, then you probably won't have any feedback, okay? But get in the habit of checking that. So to check it, you click it and it's gonna pull up the assessment and it's gonna show you what you answered, what was right, what was wrong. If it's a test, you would scroll down to the bottom where the short answer and essays are. Um, if it's a portfolio assignment, it'll pop up with a little box that says, you know, here are your comments and, and it'll look something kind of like this. So this might be at the bottom of a test or it might be a portfolio assignment that pops up. Um, and what it'll do is it'll show what you put Okay, so for example, this just kind of gibberish was the answer given. Now, I would never in real life actually say, this is really bad, that was just a joke, because I wrote this um, little answer as an example. But here are some things that I would say. I might say you've not answered the prompt. The response is insufficient, meaning you didn't write enough. You were supposed to write a whole essay and you wrote a sentence maybe. You haven't followed lesson modifications. A lot of times in lesson mods, I'll change the essay question. Um, and so if you answer what's on the test, then you've not answered the right question. Please resubmit via webmail for credit. That's usually always an option that I give you. So, you know, zero out of 10 on a test, that's a pretty significant hit. Um, and you'll, you saw in the grade that it was a 60%. So that caused this person to fail, which was actually me um, as a sample. So these are some comments that I would give. I also might ask you questions. If it's, a, if it's an essay, I'll have a file attached, and that file will have notes all in the margins of your paper, okay, on your rough draft. So it's really important that you check these. For example, if you turn in a final copy of an essay and you haven't changed it based on my comments, then I won't give you credit for that until you go back and do that. So this is where you find those comments. All right, so very, very important to know. Um, okay, so let's talk about lesson modifications. Um, instead of doing lesson modifications in Conexus, it gets really crowded in there. It's hard to read. All of your lesson modifications for my course are in a separate Google Doc. So go ahead and find your course and click on the appropriate link um, and open up your lesson mods and go ahead and bookmark that. That's going to be a super important page. I just went ahead and chose a class to look at. So this is English 10, um, lesson mods for English 10. So you're gonna see that this is in a table, okay? So this is unit one. Everything in this orange table is all unit one of Conexus. All right, so these are the modifications for unit one. Um, I've tried to kind of clear this up a little bit if you were with us last semester, it was really busy, so I've tried to simplify. Um, in the first box, you're always gonna find a template for C notes. Okay, and that is the IU prep um, template that we're using across the board, but in it, it tells you what I'm looking for you to take C notes on um, in this unit. So for English, we're gonna do C notes one time per unit. It's kind of over a few different topics throughout the lesson that you're looking through on your own, and it is part of a quiz grade. We'll go over all of that in class. Um, so color coding, some things to note. If something's in green, that means it's graded. It's a graded assignment. Okay, if um, something is in purple, it has to do with C notes. If something is in red, then that means that I have made a change. Okay, so red means something has been added, something has been deleted, something has been changed. Okay, um, sometimes I'll give you a few little notes, like in lesson seven, um, crossroads, I just say, you know, hey, you don't really need to watch this video, but it's pretty funny, so you might want to. Um, there's a quiz with Lesson 7. You see that it's graded here, and I say do it just like it's written, except in those short answers, I expect textual support, and I explain that. Okay. Lesson 8, you'll see, you know, hey, a note to add. Go over this little um, link on theme because you're going to need to know it for your test. Um, tests almost always have modifications, so you need to make sure that you look at the modifications for the test. So we can see in this test, numbers 5, 12, 23, and 24 are modified. And then I'll put a little reminder for you to post your um, C notes. Okay. Um, at the bottom, anything that was linked in... Um, 
a lesson up here as a modification. I've put it all together at the bottom so you can find them all in one place. So that's how you read lesson modifications. So lesson one connects this page one. There's no change. This is just the C notes block. Page two, instead of watching the videos they have, you can watch these videos instead. Page three, do just what it says. Page four, what it says. Page five, what it says, but leave out number two. Page six, do as it says, and that's graded. Okay, so lesson two, there are no modifications. Lesson three, no modifications. Lesson four, the only modification has to do with C notes. Um, so, so on and so forth. I will actually be sending you guys out a video that kind of steps through all of the assignments in each unit and takes you through the lesson mods with me explaining it all to you. So um, that's going to be available as well. So that's it. Um, as we continue on the semester, I will add the rest of our modifications in the same document. So you'll never have to find another document. This will be your, um, your one go-to place. So that's why it's really important that you bookmark it. Okay, so there's that topic.